Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.5 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. Okay, so, couple of things. Yes, today we are celebrating Emily's birthday. Yes, on the previous episode we were able to finally get to the Ginger Island. However, I'm not really sure how many chances or opportunities we're going to have to go to the Ginger Island in the closest time period. And let me try to explain this. So, we are reaching the end of the season. This means that starting with the next season, I will have to deal with clearing out the farm, replanting my crops, and doing all sorts of stuff. Sure, I am only working with a limited quantity of farmable space, however, I do not have sufficient quantity of starfruit seeds. I would have to go into the greenhouse, pick up the starfruit that I have there, and turn that starfruit into starfruit seeds. Not the best practice. Then. I will of course need to, on the next episode, go to CPR, purchase a bunch of seeds, plant those. I want to grab some hops too, because hops and pale ale have been paying off quite handsomely. Now we have only limited amount of money, so I'm not really sure how I will be able to get in any building projects. I would love to go see Robin and at least put in a request for another fish pond so that we have 10 of them. But highly questionable, how much stone do I have? So. Yeah, I'm not really sure how we're going to plan all this stuff around because Today, Emily has her birthday. Emily is an easy shopper. She loves lots of stuff. Coincidentally, even the quest where you receive, or the special quest where you receive your own sewing machine, all the materials or all the rare gems which you had to drop off, she loves. So, Emily loves Amethyst, Aquamarine Cloth, Emerald, Jade, Ruby, Survival Burger, Topaz, and Wool. So we have plenty of crazy options of what I can give her. I have Wool. I'm quite sure I have Topaz. I'm quite sure I have Ruby, Jade, Emerald, Aquamarine, Amethyst, and I do have Cloth too. So everything except of, I think, Survival Burger, I am able to give to her. And... Because it's a Saturday, this means that she is going to have a schedule. And that schedule, I'm trying to look for it. Uh, she has Fall 15, Winter 11th, Winter 15th, Raining, Tuesdays, Friday Community Center Restored, and then there is the regular schedule. So I'm assuming that is the one which I have to look at because we are not married to her. So... That will be the only last option left. So, her regular schedule, 9 a.m. in her bedroom, 12 p.m. leaves bedroom to stand in living room, 3.30 p.m. leaves home to work at Star Drop Saloon, 12.30 a.m. goes home for the night. So, we should be able to catch her at her own home before she starts her shift. Now, I would definitely love to go see Sandy at the Oasis and purchase myself starfruit. Coincidentally, as we are gonna be eventually getting hopefully the farm at the Ginger Island up and running, I'm gonna require some stupid quantity of iridium sprinklers and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be planting starfruit there. Because again, ancient fruit, if we would not to use speed grow, it takes from the first of season till the first of the next season for you to see your first harvest and then you get three additional harvests at the start of each week. So you are looking at if we were to plant ancient fruit outside on the first of summer, we would get four harvests throughout the fall season. Of course, Ginger Island, land of the eternal summer this means you have possibility to keep planting summer crops 
One summer crop, which I can think of, starfruit. Exactly. I'm not gonna bother with hops there. I'm not gonna bother with melons or some other stuff. I might theoretically consider ancient fruit, but most likely I'm just gonna keep it for the greenhouse. And that's it. Reason behind the turnover of the amount of crops we would be able to produce at that place and then in return put it into preserve jars or hell, even kegs. We're gonna gain some stupid quantity of income from that. So that is gonna be one major money maker because we do have the artisanal skill. So yeah, there are all these factors that I need to count into the effect and therefore I cannot guarantee when we will return to Ginger Island. I'm aware that I might have missed a golden walnut here or there, but uh, yeah, all things considered, for a first run, it was pretty damn decent. So let's take a look at the TV because also we still have the special quest from wizard where we need to get the prismatic jelly so we have until the end of the spring season to do so i'm not really sure if i will be able to do so and on top of that if there is gonna be special quests which there is gonna be special quests on the bulletin board by mayor lewis's home on monday i'm not really guaranteed that I will try to go look for it. So, yeah, this is gonna be really tricky. Okay, so tomorrow's gonna be sunny day. And now, because we got to Ginger Island, we also know that we are getting the weather report or weather forecast for the island too. So while here it might be sunny, there it might rain, or the other way around, or both places might be sunny. I sense that the viewer has joined us. Okay, so today is a super unlucky day. This means that probably trying to go to the Ginger Island, not the best idea. I'm not really sure what would be my chances in the volcano itself. And on top of that, um, maybe we will go to see Robin. Purchase the blueprint or put in the works for fish pond then we can go see emily then we can go see sandy there, there's just so much stuff that can be done so i'm assuming the best way to figure this out is to walk outside and take a look at the lovely lovely snapshot which i do have again prepared for us to look over so hopefully you are enjoying these and uh, yeah so we have mail and we have some wine in the upper right corner if we go to the fence from the cheese press, the kegs, and the preserve jars, we see that there are two caviars ready to be picked up. However, um, in the lower two uh, from which one has the caviar in it, those are gonna go inside of the big shed and the other ones which are forming the corner of the fence are gonna remain there because they are close to the fish pond. And uh, we have five fish ponds ready to give us row. Actually, scratch that. For one of the lava eels is giving us magma geode. So, yeah, there's there's that. But uh, if it's again like five geodes, we might be able to put them into the geode crushers. So, fun stuff. If we go to the crops, we see that parsnip, kale, garlic, strawberries, and blue jazz are all done. Funniest thing is that we have the flavored honey as well. Now, when it comes to crafting the warp totem, we require honey as one of the key uh, components in order to warp ourselves towards or back to this farm. Am I willing to sacrifice the flavored honey? That's a big question. Considering the fact that I will not be actually going to the Ginger Island probably today due to the super bad luck and all the things which I want to get done, I'm not really sure. But the thing is that by the time we get the next batch of honey, it's gonna be during the summer season. So, yeah. I might keep a couple of flavored honeys on hand somewhere just in case. And, uh, 
Yeah, if we go to the coops, we see that none of the fiber is currently growing, which is kind of an issue. Reason behind, fiber is also necessary for crafting of the warp totems. So yeah, uh, other than that, there's a greenhouse, there's a mushroom cave, not that great. So I'm gonna try to pick up the milk from my goats and cows and put them through the cheese press. I'm gonna try to pick up the eggs from my ducks and chickens and put them into the mayonnaise machines. I'm gonna probably leave the crops as they are because if I leave them till tomorrow, less of a chance that the land will deteriorate and will be still usable on the next episode. It already looks like I might have left out one of the tiles, so I will definitely have to put in additional speed growth. So yeah, there's one screw up on my end, so we're, we're gonna have to see how things will work out and how I will try to plant in the hops eventually. So that that's gonna be funny too. Other than that, uh, yeah. I'm gonna probably shut up now. Ooh, we do have uh, one of these journal scraps from the Ginger Island, and uh, if we take a look at those, uh, so I'm assuming it works like with the secret notes. Day one, my ship is lost, shattered by a tempest in the unforgiving sea. I find myself stranded now on these strange shores. My crew has perished, but I still live. Perhaps Lady Luck has blessed these wicked bones of mine or has her own designs for my fate at any rate i've no choice but to make a life for myself here there's fresh water in abundance food to forage and fertile soil to work first i'll build a shelter there are some pages missing so we're gonna have to find this and see what's up there there's gonna be of course the lady of the lost uh, marine who's gonna want her necklace and then there's just so much stuff that can be done on the Ginger Island. I'm really looking forward to it. But lately, yeah, I did not have that much time to record Stardew Valley episodes. So that is why I was publishing stuff like Evil Genius 2 and other things. Because it was easier for me to have it prepared. Because time crunch and there's the possibility I might have to return to the office soon and I'm not really sure how it's gonna work with my upload schedule after that because it's it's been over a year and a half now that I have been working from home office and uh, God, I don't miss the office. So yeah, it, it at least allows me to work on scripts uh, and save up time on the commute and things like that and and at these render out episodes so they are ready for publishing and things like that so it's gonna be a freaking nightmare so we're we're gonna see now let's let's take a look what's in the mail dear max you're such a good neighbor i thought i sent over some animal feed to make your job easier keep it up marnie thank you marnie i actually do need that because if we take a look at our computer we see that we have only 169 pieces of hay left, so not the best. We have 191 crops, 168 are ready, unwatered crops 0, crops ready in greenhouse 10, uh, 68 machines ready, so yeah, there's all sorts of stuff, so I'm gonna shut up now, get this stuff processed, and we will talk soon, hopefully. really ditch those bombs so I don't accidentally drop them down somewhere and uh, do a whole lot of damage.
Okay, so what do we have for summer? We have blueberries, but unfortunately, strawberries are more profitable, but yeah, we're, we're gonna have to do blueberries throughout the summer season, or at least a small batch of them. Uh, we still have those blueberries which I moved over. A taro tuber can be planted during the summer season too, that's actually kind of fun. We do have one warp totem for the farm, so that's awesome. We do have 40 starfruit seeds, and we have like 38 of them or how many inside. And yeah, we we have some corn. We don't have that many crops or seeds ready for the summer season. So yeah, that's bad. And I did not consider using any of the hops to be placed into the seed maker. So I don't see any hop starter too. We're going to have to get some fertilizer as well. So we're going to have to grind out uh, money from our farm in order to be able to afford some of these things, which I want to get. So the cheese and all these fancy things are all going to have to keep getting sold on a regular base if I want to be... making money and not losing it. So... I can mess around with at least these crap pots because everything is conveniently placed next to each other so uh recycling bins all this stuff is right over here so i can drop off whatever i need or whatever i can dispose of it's all conveniently placed here i will need to get those damn cookies and i will need to get the tea beverage but yeah that's it's gonna be a freaking nightmare we have some stupid quantity of milk here accumulated over the days when I was doing god knows what else and not picking up the milk. But this is why I'm really glad that I have the auto grabbers because this way I can actually afford to just let the cows and goats roam around and the auto grabber is gonna do the work for me so i'm not forced to do this manually so that is the advantage of it and the milk will not go bad in the auto grabber so it can actually accumulate there for quite a bit and i should be a okay in the meantime to do Whatever it is that's necessary for us to turn this farm into a great success. Okay, so I'm gonna put the row over here. The rest of these things... Uh, we have 8, so 16 for 2 batches of rhubarb seeds. I need to take a look how much stone do I possess in my reserve so that we can go see a robin regarding the construction of the fish pond. All the cheese, all these things. I'm not sure how much gold do I have on my person so I might have to go and fetch seven more. The funniest thing is that out of these we might theoretically get what I do need for Emily as a gift, but kind of don't want to rely on that too much. It's a bit of a too bad of a plan. So what do we have the most of? Amethyst, of course. And I'm gonna pop the triple shot espresso. It's past one. That means. I would even sell the diamond if I'm being honest, but we need to save it for now. Okay, so I will be able to get the fish pond. It's Saturday, so Robin should be available. I'm hoping she doesn't have any weird schedule conflict with some other activity. So these can go in here for the fish pond. 
rhubarb seeds they don't need to be on my person why did you have to give me mixed seeds actually now that i think about it with the uh possibility to requiring it or needing it for the fiber seeds i don't care that much anymore uh so we do have some of those and magma geodes go here this goes here this goes here for now okay uh okay so emily robin sandy Let, let's try to do that let's let's see if we can execute this plan i'm not sure if uh Emily is already at her work. I, I totally forgot the schedule because by the time I get to this point, I have like a million other thoughts running through my mind, so I do apologize. And there's a cutscene. Come in, Max. I want to show you something. So we're gonna see uh, Emily's dance, huh? God, I love this song. It's my secret hobby. I've been practicing for months. Now sit back, relax, and allow yourself to be carried away to a better place. I still prefer drum and bass, but whatever. I love that jam. So, what do you think? That was amazing! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Okay, now let me let you have your birthday gift. So, come on. Knock it off with the cutscene. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. Okay, you're sharing too much. Well, I'd better take a shower. Thanks for watching. Again. Okay, so Emily, Emily, ooh, hoo, 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 nice, eight hearts, awesome. Uh, so there's that. And now we need to go see Robin. Robin, Robin, Robin. We have time to like for something to do this. We should take a look at the deprecated Jojo Mart just to see if we can trigger that last or missing Junimo who got left behind somehow. But not before we go and find a leak in the boat. There's another leak which I totally missed out, but okay, we have another cutscene. Hi Max, I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood, Max? Yes. Great, then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Here, let me show you the blueprints. Learn how to craft flute block and drum block. You can use these to get creative on your farm. It feels good to be able to decorate your house with things you've made yourself. Not a huge fan of the drum block. Okay, so we are gonna go with the fish pond. Fish pond number 10. Okay, so none of those can actually be given to Emily. But yeah, and then in the gap between those, we can squeeze in two more fish ponds. Okay, so she's going to start working on that, and there's that leak, which I will want to claim. Uh, 
question is, how much coal do I have? Reason behind preserved jars. Uh, uh, how's the oak resin? Okay, so we can trigger the quest for the wizard's amulet and get access to the location where the void salmons might reside. Ah, Max, I've been waiting for you. Have I ever told you I used to be married? Strange. I know, for a man like me, but it's true. My wife and I were together for many years until... Until I made a mistake that drove her away. Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home fearing that an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. But now it must be unsealed, for when we, separate, when we separated, she took my magic ink. I need that magic ink back. I would do this myself, but I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewers. You should know where to find one. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Now go. All I wanted is some oak resin. And all I get is... A dysfunctional relationship. Awesome. So, we have that oak resin. I'm gonna be able to acquire some wood here. Uh, so we have... Damn it, uh, it's 3.50. I'm not gonna make it to... Bus stop and... Uh, go see Sandy today. That stinks, because... Uh, yeah, that means that one of the major tasks which I wanted to get processed today simply cannot be managed anymore. A lot of forgeables here. So it's a shame here. But the advantage of us getting to the summer season is also the fact that I will be able to progress with the quests in the tunnel. I just wanna pick up the Honey. Okay, so we need to refill the kegs. Uh, unfortunately, I do not possess anything on my person that would be a decent thing to put inside. Looks like more wine is done, so depending on what wine it will be... Might be able to work some magic. I don't know how that goat got all the way over there, but okay. That's one smart goat. Ah, uh, rhubarb wine. Rhubarb wine. Rhubarb wine. That's a lot of rhubarb wine. Okay, so we are selling 28 pieces of rhubarb wine for our quartz, for excites, a tiger's eye, obsidian. Caviar cheese, um, let's go with five of those, 11 cauliflower, additional cheese, and now I need to refill. Fifty pieces of coal, that's not good. Ah. Uh, We don't have wood or coal. I will be able to fetch some wood, but coal uh, is gonna be a bit iffy. Blue jazz, blue jazz goes over here. This goes with me. We can take theoretically. Was it 10 or 11? I'm not really sure right now. Uh, we definitely need to make some coffee. 
So fortunately this coffee should be done brewing today. So we're gonna get a ton of refills for our Starbucks gift cards. Uh, so I will have those triple shot espressos or those crappuccinos or what, 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 what are they called? Oh yeah, we don't have coal, damn it. Uh, one, two, that's unfortunate. So not able to process all of them, unfortunately. We have mead. Uh, let's sell some of this mead. Wanna put away the spicy eel. The diamond should be kept for geo crushers. A rice shoots, those can be given here. God damn it, we have 117 of those. Yeah, it's just, it's just uh, not good. Uh, one coffee in here, don't ask me why. Um, these diamonds, we have nine. Strawberries. I'm gonna have to use some of these strawberries to be turned into seeds because I did not keep that many of them. 18 tea saplings. Uh, not that important right now to work on those. What I need to work on is my reserve jar production. These have been filled in. Okay. So all of these are working. Triple shot espresso has worn off. Well, let's deal with the crap pots now. I'm gonna have to go into the secret woods too to fetch some hardwood. I'm gonna have to go into the cinder sap woods to see if I can get some wood too. We do have some mature trees here at the farm as well, so there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Unfortunately, I don't think it's that much fun for me to try and narrate it, so I'm gonna probably just speed up this section and we will talk at the summary and then we will continue tomorrow and see if we can go see Sandy, see what luck it's gonna be like, see if we are gonna try to go to Ginger Island because I'm guaranteeing you on the next episode things might get chaotic. Usually they are for me on the start of each season. And we're going to see how that that's going to be like. So, theoretically, I might be able to craft some coal from this wood. We do have the charcoal burner. It's not my preferred way to make, however, coal. Considering how dependent I am on having access to plenty of wood for crafting purpose. So, yeah. Let me shut up, do the things, and we'll catch up soon.
Okay, so I was thinking that I would only do one batch of coffee, but realizing I would not have too much time to mess around with my inventory, I had to put in a second batch. This way I have burned through most of the coffee which I had on my hand. But at least we got plenty of money from all the artisanal items, mostly thanks to the rhubarb wine. We have 25,000 gold just from that. We have some stuff from the foraging, some stuff from the fishing, a little bit thanks to the mining and the geodes and some torches. So 66,368, that's pretty damn decent. We also have to keep in mind that uh, I, I cannot just go and spend a crazy amount of money on star fruit. I also have to keep in mind that I should be purchasing some crops on the next episode. So... Things like that need to be accounted for. So let's see how tomorrow will turn out. It's the last day of the spring season. Okay, last day of the spring season. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Also, really looking forward to the meal, which I'm gonna learn here. So in case you don't know, Queen of Sauce versus NPC Dishes, go check it out, awesome video. Put a lot of work into it. So, uh, weather forecast. It's gonna be a lovely day. And the Ginger Island is gonna be a rainy location on the first of summer. Fun stuff. Most likely you will not go there. Today, another super unlucky day. Great thing I'm going to the oasis just to pick up the star fruit seeds. Queen of Sauce, my favorite. Lucky lunch. And old legend has it that this meal is irresistible to spirits of luck and fortune. After consuming it, you're likely to attract a good spirit into your belly where it will bless you with a good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? I can't say I believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. You learn how to make a lucky lunch. The one weird dish, which I do love, However, now we have a pretty damn strong competitor. So this is Lucky Lunch. Sea Cucumber, this is why I keep it. Tortillas, super easy to make. Blue Jazz, this is why I have it, mostly. So, yeah, it's, it's a combination of multiple seasons. This is why you get it so late in the game, but it only increases your luck. If you compare it to Pumpkin Soup from Robin, check this out. You get plus two luck and plus two defense. Now, which is better for scavenging or running through the skull caverns or volcano or mines? It's, it's pretty easy, but plus three luck is really fun, especially if you combine it with triple shot espresso, you might be coming across shafts or ladder rather easily so you might make a decent progress through the mines it's up to you but it's one of my personal favorites so uh let's go take a look at the farm and see what is up to so if we take a look at the lovely lovely snapshot of the farm which i should have prepared somewhere okay so we see that in the upper right corner we have mail and we have ton of coffee. So I'm gonna have to put in, let's say, ancient fruit or star fruit, something else just to spice things up. If we go lower, we see that Robin is working on the 10th fish pond and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows ready. And unfortunately, one of the lava eels is giving us gold nuggets and uh, or gold ore not the row i would prefer the row it's more valuable at this point and there's stuff in the crab pots if we go lower we see that there are the chickens and ducks and the bunnies and if we go to the left from our silos we see that all the crops should be done yes even the coffee is done so uh i'm gonna have to pick up the blue jazz and load it into the second fridge I'm gonna pick up the kale, I'm gonna pick up the strawberries, I'm gonna pick up the coffee, I'm gonna pick up the parsnips, I'm gonna pick up the garlic. Chances are garlic and parsnip are all gonna be sold. Uh, strawberries are gonna go inside of the big shed and some of them are gonna be turned into additional seeds, coffee, coffee's gonna be turned into more coffee. And then we have greenhouse and mushroom cave. So 
Yeah, fun stuff. Let's take a look at the mail. Max, it seems like you're starting to get close with some of the Thomas people. If you want to show someone that you are romantically interested, you've got to give them one of my beautiful flower bouquets. I'm selling them now for a very fair price. If you want to start a family someday, this is the first step. Pierre. And more mail. Max, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll need, you'll feel energized. See you soon, Emily. Red plate. Okay, and we can actually go take a look at what you get from the red plate. Uh, totally forgot what is the icon. So red plate, you need red cabbage and radish and you get energized because your energy bar will be topped with 50 points of energy. Not really sure if you can combine it with other meals and if the effect will last, but there it is. Max, I have this crazy new idea that I want to involve you in. It's called clothing therapy. Please come to my come to the mayor's house today to see what's all about. Love Emily. So this is one of the newly added cutscenes. It basically shows a fun cutscene where a bunch of the NPCs put on different clothes and they go see certain people to spice things up in their relationship but i'm not talking about some kinky outfits I'm, I'm just talking you know different hairstyles stuff like that to make things interesting don't be creepy people hello max this item was collecting dust in the tool shed i figured you might be able to use it kent it's so awesome when an army guy gives me a bomb which i'm not sure if it's safe to use but i'll take it I'll take it. I'll definitely need it. That's for sure. Okay, so cinder shards, we're gonna keep those because they can be used for crafting if I'm correct. Uh let me let me check. Uh so cinder shards. Yeah, you can make cinder clown shoes, jungle torch, uh build double bed. And then you also need 20 of them for Ostrich Incubator once you complete certain things with Professor Snail. So, fun stuff. Uh, they only sell for like 50 bucks a pop, so I'm gonna start uh, hoarding these. And yeah, that, that's gonna be it for now. Let's start processing all this. And we will catch up or mustard rather quickly once I'm done with all this funky stuff. Fifty-eight portions of coffee. Man, I'm 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 gonna be jittery as hell if I drink all this coffee. Yes, this is why I'm gonna need some more star fruit seeds because I just went from 38 to 12. So that's uh, quite a lot. Uh, 
we can actually take all these things into greenhouse. These can be if I would need 16, right? Two batches of seeds. Mushroom cave. I should consider getting some grass starter for the animals too. We can theoretically also check on the traveling merchant what is in her shop available. to plant those mahogany seeds. I have two pieces of coal so we can take the two pieces of magma geodes, crack them open. Best case scenario, I'm gonna get some coal out of them. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna get clay out of them. Okay, that's 15, not, not the best result. Let's turn that coffee into something useful. That's a lot of triple shot espressos. Okay, uh... Seventy seeds. I'd love to get at least 70 more. Let's go check the traveling merchant and we're gonna go see um, Sandy at the Oasis. Barbell hook, potato, coleslaw, puffer fish, slime, tulip, big bug meat, summer spangle. Uh, five rare seats. Yes, please. Um, since I'm here, uh, hardwood. I'm picking up the hardwood because fixing up of the ship was 200 pieces of hardwood alone. If I would have not been planting the mahogany seeds around the farm and collecting those mahogany trees for hardwood, I would not have that ship fixed and I would not have been able to go yet to the ginger island. On top of that, if we want to keep upgrading the house, we're gonna require some additional hardwood and of course, if we want to get eventually to aging our wine in casks, that's hardwood too. So, considering that you can squeeze in at least like 118 or god knows how many casks into the basement of your home once it's fully upgraded, uh, yeah, having access to hardwood is kind of a priority for me right now. Okay, uh, question is, can we pick up the mayo? on our way up and uh, go see Sandy. If I miss out on the chance to go see her now, I'm afraid uh, that's gonna be one awkward summer season. It's 1.30, why, why do you have to lay those eggs so far away from the doors? I need to get the auto collectors even in here from Marnie. Uh, should have done that right now, but I'm not that keen on spending 75 grand on auto collectors. Okay, so we have our second T-Rex. Done. Stop trying to eat the raw eggs. What's wrong with you? You're not Rocky. Oh my god, it's so cute when it's trying to sleep. So we are gonna put all these things in here for processing. We're gonna sell 60 pieces of mayo. Wow, that's gonna be one really gross salad or sandwich someone's gonna be making with all that mayo. 
I'm still waiting in the comments section for a fun name for a brand of uh, mayo and cheese, which we can be selling. Just please, nothing explicit or something already existing. Come on, be creative. I want to see some fun names. I have been asking for that for way too long now. So come on, surprise me, shock me, amaze me. Do something. Put something in the comment section, please. Please, please. Okay, so, uh, let's go to the desert. Let's go see that lovely, lovely Sandy. I should have brought her some freaking flowers. There are coconuts, cactus, all these cool things. We do have like 10 spicy eel dishes, so I don't really need to exchange rubies for those. Doesn't look like I see any coconuts on these trees. Uh, I'm gonna have to hurry somehow to get to Pierre. Uh, at least to try and get some grass starter today, maybe? Uh, maybe? Okay, so 70 is what we have at the farm. I was thinking like 150. Uh, it's gonna do for now. Uh... Let's return. This means we no longer can return to the oasis because I'm not really sure if Pam is gonna disappear or she's gonna stay here till 4 p.m. Yeah, it looks like she's gonna stay here. So with the effects of the coffee, I should be able to go see Pierre. I will most likely not make it to Clint's shop so I cannot purchase coal and here we're gonna come across some secret notes because again we are the creepiest person in the entire village going through people's stuff found Pierre's secret stash and of course just as I find it hey who's in the bedroom What? How did you find that? Quick, give it to me! Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. Your secret is safe with me. Your wife deserves to know about this. I'm not really sure which one is better, but okay, let's go with your secret is safe with me. Thanks, I appreciate it. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? And I'll just forget that you were snooping around in my bedroom. Yeah, that's, that seems pretty... Okay, now I have to find a new hiding spot. So what exactly is it that he's hiding? Is it some oregano? Wink wink. Ah, uh, grass starter. Why don't you get like 150 of this too? We need to put it for our... Ah... Uh, chickens ducks and rabbits and also for our cows and goats uh the deluxe speed grow should do a bouquet i'm not really sure if i can give the bouquet yet to emily i have not yet married anyone i know it's so hard to believe that such a sweet and amazing and non-creepy person like me has not yet married a single npc it probably explains a lot about me in actual real life too, but yeah, what the hell. Uh, so anyhow, uh, we want to sell or we want to brew. Uh, we want to turn the cactus, the coconut, and whatever else I got into something fun, fun for fun. Uh... We can do lots of fun stuff with all these things. So, these can go over here. These can go over here. Still have plenty of kegs. And, uh, two, four, six. I'm 
gonna take quite a while for these kegs to be done processing. Fortunately for me, I have 23 triple shot espressos divided by three. That's almost eight days worth of supply of speed, uh, speed grow. The, what you call it? Uh, caffeine fix. It's 510. So, we're gonna start replanting this in order to keep the animals a bit closer to the barns. And we still need to pick up all these crops. Uh, I should leave the blue jazz as the last thing. And I'm just hoping most of the soil will retain the moisture and the effects of the Deluxe Speed Grow. I would appreciate that greatly. Most likely the soil with the strawberries uh, will have to be reprocessed or re-fertilized uh, with the Deluxe Speed Grow. So that's the unfortunate fact, but yeah, we will have to get this stuff processed. So the parsnips, I might keep like 10 of them for parsnip soup, but other than that, I don't really see the use or effects for having them. Uh, need to drop off starfruit seeds and on the next episode I'm gonna have to do a fetch quest to PR in order to acquire some of those additional summer seeds I'm gonna probably plant somewhere the wheat seeds just so that the rainy days can water them so I'm not gonna do it myself I'm just gonna move the scarecrows down here towards the section where I'm gonna put the Wheat and it takes four days, so four rainy days are definitely gonna happen throughout the summer season. So, if we plant those, we should be able to get quite a lot of wheat for beer production and also wheat for our silos or hay for our silos. So, it's a dual purpose crop, it can do this throughout two seasons from summer till fall. This tip has been suggested to me through the community or yeah, through the community in the comment section. So if you have tips like these, keep them coming. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so. Oh, man. All the blue jazz. Do I really want to load all the blue jazz in here? That's a stupid amount of blue jazz. And how much blue jazz do I have here? Shockingly, not that much. Ah, uh, so tortillas is not that much of an issue for me to make. We have 16 pieces of corn, so that's 16 tortillas. 2, 5, 8, 10, 11, 14, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22. We can extract like 9 yellow cucumbers out of the fish pond without actually totally killing it, but... Yeah. Okay, uh... gonna sell this sell this sell this uh, these are gonna go into shed uh, the brass starter is gonna go to the chickens and ducks because they deserve a good crop too I'm hoping that eventually we're gonna see some ducks swimming because it's driving me insane not really sure how Eric got that snapshot. He probably must have had a coop somewhere really close by when he posted that picture on his Twitter account of Concerned Ape. So, okay. 
This can be all picked up. Did I keep those mahogany seeds or not really? No, not really. Ah, uh, so. A lot of ifs. A lot of ifs. Can dirt be turned that wood into that coal? But not that much of it, anyhow. And yeah, I think that that's gonna be like the end of the episode. We're gonna try to process as many more things as I can here, but nourishment wise, I don't think it's gonna be as stimulating. So I'm gonna mostly just utilize the music or the soundtrack of the game and keep the thing sped up until we get to uh, the end screen. So if you did like this episode, consider giving it a like, helps a lot with the algorithm. I am able to therefore reach out to a wider community of people. I publish episodes on a weekly base in case you are wondering and are considering subscribing. I do all sorts of games, so please don't expect to see Stardew Valley every time. It usually takes me most amount of time, still surprisingly, to get Stardew Valley processed. So. There's that, but other than that, I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day. Check out the playlist for Stardew Valley 1.5 at the end of the video. We have quite a lot of episodes out. If you're interested in more Stardew Valley content, I can recommend even the 1.4 playlist. And heck, I have been covering the game since 1.3 patch was out on YouTube. So there are a lot of Stardew Valley episodes by now. So if you are really trying to become my new best friend, then you can go and watch all of them. I'm just gonna be eternally grateful because I kind of do need those views in order to become legit or verified by YouTube and all that jazz. So yeah, go make my day, go make me or watch some of those episodes and make sure to subscribe for more if you have any questions concerns comments etc feel free to leave them in the comment section and i'm gonna try to get back to you at my earliest convenience other than that stay safe out there enjoy stardew valley let me know how your farm is going and i will talk to you at the next one thank you for watching everyone and bye bye